This is Ben Whitaker, you're watching Sporting Icons. Point was like, keep moving, like don't stop, like be free. Like keep it fluent, keep it flowing, because he would jump in and then would just stop. Yeah. And I was supposed to be in the thing, but like a one, two right off of that. But or sometimes he would just jump in and just, and just freeze. So that was the punch. And he's done it sometimes. The times he did it, he hurt Chris. Uh, and the one around when he did have him hurt good, he just did, and he smothered the work. So, I mean, he's, he knows what he made, what his mistakes were. So, uh, for me, it's the best thing is for when you know what your mistakes are, you can work on it. But if you have no idea what you were doing wrong, all is a long journey. Look, Laurie said when you were punching, it was, it was working. Were you surprised when those didn't knock Chris down? I mean, uh, yes, I know, but there was none that landed like the way that I like to land. There was a couple of good shots, but as I said, um, I was too eager, like, and I felt myself rushing in because I felt with the knockdown he got in the fourth and a couple of points, I was like, I got to knock him out. So I was there loading up as opposed to just relaxing, and um, I kind of lost track of rounds as well, which was quite annoying for me. Usually, I'm quite composed. Like this is round seven, I'm going into. I, no, I was just like, oh shit, it's round ten. Fuck, we got to swear, swear, we got to push it. Um, so it was good. As I said, for me, like, I don't really, um, I don't really have much excuses or nothing like that. I'm just, like I said, I understand the, um, the game of boxing. Um, he did well. Today is his day and tomorrow will be my day. It's not the same Chris that you left in the gym or is it a better Chris? Oh, no, it's the same guy. Uh, me and him always had good hard work. I think it's just two and four that, for example, if I landed the shot in the fourth that hurt him, I, I, I probably would have got the fight, but you know, like moments make fights, you know, <clears throat> I think you get a knockdown, it boosts you for the next couple of rounds, and even me, I said, oh, I, could, I think the knockdown was in like the fourth, so I said, round five, relax, you know, get your feet on, get caught with nothing silly, you just work, and then that would be another round in his favor, and then from there, you just get, um, I think with certain points and stuff like that, the fight started slipping away, and then it made me have to kind of push it, so it was, um, a, a new position to be in, and it was, um, it was kind of exciting. Like, it's kind of weird because I hate losing. I'm obviously a winner at heart. Um, but it was just interesting to kind of know. Today I was watching Lennox Lewis's documentary, and um, I saw him take some L's and come back, and that's the kind of energy that I'm feeling right now. Lauren, so um, did wait, they... I got a question. What were the scorecards? Because I couldn't hear it in there, but I just heard the crowd moving. There, there was a so scorecard of 112, 112. Yeah. Very Good. interesting. Mm. And then it was 116, 107, 115, 108. Mm. 116, 107. What is this? 116, 107. Oh, 116, okay. Oh, them, them points and shit. Well, I scored on round. Next one. Look, Lawrence, uh, in hindsight, did the very short turnaround time from the previous camp have an effect on how you felt out there tonight? I don't think so. I think it's good back to back. I was in great shape. There's not really, I ain't got no excuses. It's just that like, was a fire. And another guy kind of threw more punches at the right time. Um, his game plan works well. There's, no, there's nothing really to it. Today's his day, and I know what I'm going to go and work on. And at the end of the day, like I've lost as an amateur, I'll come back, become an Olympian. I've lost as a pro, I'm going to come back, be a world champion. For me, this is it's just another step. Like, but like I don't really get too emotional when it comes to boxing. When I win, it's like, oh, okay, well done. And I, I've lost now, so like, cool, what are we going to do? So for me, it's just uh, the name of the game, and that's why I'm going to be world champion again. Lawrence, do you think the rematch will take place in Bournemouth or do you think it goes to neutral territory? Oh, I come to Bournemouth. There's nothing, there's nothing about this that made it anything more than what it was. It was, it was I'm not going to lie, it was exciting to me. I'm not going to lie, it was exciting. I loved it. I felt like uh, it, it forced like So it's very hard to recreate that energy from an opponent, you know, um, coming with everything. So for me, it's, a, it's another tick. Obviously, I didn't get the win, but it's a tick. Like, I've beaten undefeated Gary after undefeated Gary. I've beaten contenders. But going to someone's back garden and seeing everything they got. Chris, um, fantastic. His confidence is probably going to go up off, off that win. Um, but there's not really much more um, to it. It's just, all right, cool. Let me, if I'm going to lose a ball, I might as well win here. Lawrence, uh, apologies if the question has been asked. It's okay. getting to the presser. Uh, when the referee was warning you and deducting points, did you think it was fair or did you have complaints? I kind of had the idea that stuff like that was going to happen the whole time. I was thinking, oh my goodness, we're going to really get it. Um, but there's not, like I said, I'm not here to make excuses and stuff like that. Uh, I need to watch it back to see, but I could tell um, by the time I got to around seven, eight, I was like, if I don't get a knockout, then it's going to slip away. And I wasn't able to get the shots off, so I just got to take it and go with them. Lawrence, yeah. same thing here, apologies. Cool. Um, how do you reconcile kind of mentally with 
I guess, the disappointment of your first defeat in your career, mm. and then it was a joy in a sense of seeing someone like Chris succeed for the first time. Must what was the first thing you said? How do you reconcile with the disappointment of defeat, and then maybe the joy in a sense of seeing someone like Chris get, get his moment, and you get to see that close, it must be a bit of a weird feeling. Uh, for me, like I said, I don't get emotional when it comes to boxing, I'm very matter of fact. <clears throat> the, the fact is, um, Chris did better work than me today. Uh, I had points deducted, I had knockdowns, whether I thought they were legitimate or not. There was like maybe six points deducted in a fight. <clears throat> That's just what it is. When you get six points deducted, unless you knock the guy down or knock him out or win convincingly all the rounds, you're going to lose a fight on points. Do you know what I mean? So it was a good hard fight. I need to watch it back. I think I had to grit it out as well at times. Um, it's just good, good character building. Like I said, it's good character building for me. And um, uh, I'm happy to see, not obviously beat me, because I would prefer to be here like, yeah, I won another one, but it was um, good to see um, Chris fulfill his dreams. I'm happy for him as a man. You know, I think he's great with his wife. I think he's great with his kid. Um, and I liked him as a person. Let the shots go. Now, after, and after, the, um, after the fact, I can tell when I just let the shots go, it was working well. However, um, when I was there forcing it or whatever, nothing was coming off. And he was able to get short shots off after I over, um, over-edged it. So he was able to keep grinding. And <clears throat> that, along with the first knockdown, and um, good momentum in, 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 for him uh, played a massive factor. But for me, as I said, there's a few tweaks that can make a big difference. So I'm not really that fast. I'm just uh, eager to go and come again. Lawrence, yes. yes. thanks for coming out to speak. No stress. Um, of the three counts you took, how many of them were genuine knockdowns? How hurt or buzzed were you for each of them? I think the first one, definitely, I uh, remember thinking, oh, good shot. I remember when he landed, I think it was like a left hook. I said, damn, he got me. Then uh, I think by the time I got to four, I was all right, and then he carried on. The other two, I didn't really feel like they were knockdowns. I was quite like, oh, what's going on? Obviously, um, with the excitement and stuff, the ref's going to be excited and... Um, do, do whatever, but you know what, at the end of the day, I shouldn't be in those positions anyway, I should be standing up tall and boxing, so I've got to take those on the chin, and uh, just don't allow myself to fall into those traps another time. Mm -hmm. Lawrence, would the plan be to go straight into the rematch? Yeah, 100%, uh, like, at the end of the day, this is boxing, I think, the main thing I know is that I'm down, but I'm not out, it's just like, it was a good performance from Chris, um, there's uh, good work on my end, I have to obviously watch it back, but there was nothing in there that made me think, he's unbelievable or whatever else. It was just good performance on his part. He put everything on the line and he, he got his reward for it, but uh, I would definitely be um, pushing for a rematch. Lawrence, the, the, the whole then you lost points for it. Mm. You, you feel you're going to have to change something there because it, it can cost you. I think it's either that or refs are going to have to get educated on other people. There's positions that you get into that the other guys, that for example, are locking your arm. But because of the reputation, referees are just losing their minds. Oh, too oh. old. It's like, come on, man, like, you have to understand, if you've got a hand free, you've got to be able to work and stuff like that. But it's not for me to educate the refs, it's for refs to sort of go and do their homework. But um, other than that, I did realise when I was punching, it was working. So it is maybe throwing more punches. Sugar, what, you, what your take on that was as well? Because at one point you looked to be speaking to the referee, what did you make of it? Uh, yeah, we were having a little friendly conversation with him. He didn't want me to do any talking, I guess, maybe because I was correct. But uh, it was his call because he was in the ring. So it was definitely about uh, pushing or holding and things like that. Um, he's calling Lawrence for things that, you know, clearly he was all, he, he's off balance. You know, those two guys, are they, pretty much they grab him. Uh, and in boxing, you do hold if you lose your balance. You're not supposed to just fall. So if you got somebody with you, you're going to... And if you're trying to get position inside, you have to hold and do certain things. Uh, that's, that's just part of boxing. It's, uh, everybody does it. Nobody just, you're not supposed to just stand there. You have to take care of yourself and, um, and know how to just work on the inside. So when you're working on the inside, it, it's, it's, a, it's a sort of a rhythm. It's, a, it's sort of a, something you can do with your eyes closed. It's off a feel. And uh, definitely, if anybody's in the room is falling, I guarantee you're gonna grab onto something if you're off balance. I mean, that's just nature. You're not gonna let yourself fall. So uh, it was it was both holding from both guys. Uh, it was everyone was talking about the knockdowns. It was I believe it was just one clear knockdown. The other two were not knockdowns. Um, but the referee made the call, just the same as the referee made the call on uh, Chris Billum Smith not getting knocked down in his corner. At sure. that time, nope. I'll, I'll probably so At that point, you know, it, it, it wasn't pushing. At that point, it was 
at that point, it wasn't just you know him falling. So some of the things were biased, obviously. I mean, I'm not trying to make any excuses. Um, but yeah, I do like to be on fair playing grounds and obviously uh, everybody was excited. So this is the result that we got. And um, yeah, we're still working hard and uh, learning things. As Lawrence is sitting here talking about it now, um, he knows there's things that he has to improve on. Uh, he's not afraid to take the loss, uh, neither am I. And I, it was a good win for Chris, you know, for everything that he did. It was just things that, that we didn't do, which made the fight uh, go in the other direction. Question for both of you, really. Do you think the fact that you're still early on in your journey together with each other as coach and fighter, that you can improve and, and, and get better and become two time and have a longer reign? Uh, for me, I d definitely. I think that's not the um, be all and end all, obviously, of um, the journey or what we're working on. It's kind of, for me, it's a bit upsetting because the stuff that we're working on in the gym and the info um, vision that I know Sugar's got for me. It's a spectacular one, so it's just a, about getting there one step at a time. We've had about maybe three months together now, um, maybe maybe three and a half months, and um, there's been some progress, but it's still uh, a learning curve for me, I think. Um, obviously, I'm always good at learning. You know what I mean? Obviously, I'm going to learn from this defeat. No biggie. Um, I had a short and explosive amateur career. Same with the professional. I managed to become British Commonwealth European champion, um, all off the back of my mentality and um, physicality so i'm going to carry on obviously become a two-time world champion that's a no-brainer so we'll just um take this one and as i said go back to drum board sugar what was the main game plan going into the fight with chris knockout <laughs> main game plan yeah i just want to be more technical I, if you can yeah that'd be uh, pretty just good. a little bit more technical really Lawrence was uh you know the, the game plan is to stay tall stay tall work off the jab and land the punches as he stated that uh, he was a bit tight, and that was something that we talked about in training camp. Uh, at certain times when he gets to mix with me and, and does certain things, if he's tight, then it comes off a bit slower when he's fluent.